Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm having to redo the thermostat. This is the second time I'm doing this job in 24 hours because I think there's something wrong with the new thermostat. This is on a third gen 4Runner, but this probably also applies to Tacomas. So we're gonna get into what I discovered about aftermarket thermostats, and the point of this video is to keep this from happening to you. <laughs> so anyway, here I am draining the coolant again and you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket on an extension. I'm using a wobble extension. It just makes it a little easier to maneuver and get in these tight areas and get the socket locked onto the nut. And there are three nuts that are gonna be removed. You have to work around the belts and it's kind of tucked under the front valve cover and head area. But with a little patience, you'll get it out. The good news is there's really nothing you have to take off first that's in the way, so you can just jump right in and start taking the nuts off. All right, so what happened with this repair is the first thermostat I installed yesterday isn't working right, and right away the car started overheating during the warm-up process. The gauge moved way beyond normal, so I shut it down. What I suspect happened is the new thermo didn't open or it was the wrong size or some other problem. So coming up, I'm gonna show you a, a review online where apparently this happened to someone else. So I just decided to pull out the new thermostat and compare it to the old thermostat because the old one was functioning fine. The only reason we were changing this is just because this is a new vehicle in our house. We wanted to make sure it was done so we didn't have to worry about it. Is anything coming out? Yeah. Starting to trickle. It's hard to tell, but trust me on this, I measured them. The one on the right just came out of the car and it is longer not by a lot but by maybe an eighth of an inch so i'm going to pull up this review somebody left on the website where i got this um, complaining basically about the same issue um, the vehicle overheated after putting in this thermostat and he was saying that it is longer than what it should be and almost the same vehicle is the 98 Tacoma, mine's the 98 Forerunner. Now I did get the right part number for the Forerunner, so I don't want you to think I used the Tacoma thermostat, but um, we both had the same problem apparently where maybe the long thermostat made it overheat. So I ended up going with the one from Napa Auto. All right, putting the new one in and take note of a little jiggle valve on the top, right? Lace is out, Ray Finkel. <laughs> so let me tell you what I know about these jiggle valves. There's not a lot of agreement between mechanics nor what I see online about how these junk jiggle valves are supposed to be positioned. And some thermostats don't even have them. So my conclusion from a little research and just logically thinking about it and the ones I've installed before is um, I think the valve should be on top at 12 o'clock. I've never had a long-term problem putting these in vehicles like this. Now, some people say it should be more towards the bottom, a six o'clock position, because if there's not enough coolant in the system to heat up the thermostat to open, it will somehow allow coolant seepage to get through, or a little bit at least. The other opinion which I, I tend to lean towards, the jiggle valve on top allows air to pass through because if you're in the same situation, the car is low on coolant, which is keeping the thermostat from opening, but the engine is getting hot, so air pressure and heat might be increasing. And so um, with the valve on top, some of the air can pass through the valve and help equalize pressure. So I'm kind of leaning that way because I've never had an issue. And um, if someone has another opinion, please put that in comments. It's a good sign compared to last night. So I think the most important takeaway here and the main thing with this video is use the right size thermostat and a good quality gasket. If your replacement thermostat and gasket is looking a lot different than what came out of your stock vehicle, then something is probably wrong, especially if it's been running well up to this point. I'd also say don't over tighten the thermostat housing a lot of them are aluminum, and if you over-tighten them, they could crack. Use the right coolant for your vehicle, and make sure you purge all the air out and fill it right. Last thing I like to do is carefully 
feel the hose. I'm keeping my hand away from the fan. And once the thermostat it opens up, both hoses should be hot, one hotter than the other. This one's hot. The one down here was cold a minute ago, and it is now warm. So that's, that's good. You want to feel movement. You want to feel that water moving through it. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Please leave comments or any concerns, questions in the comment box. I appreciate you watching, man. Please consider subbing if this helped and liking the video. And I'll see you next time.